Now we can go into resolution. Hey, look at all the resolution options. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Tech. Today we're gonna to do a video about GoPros, but not the Hero 7. I picked up a Hero 2018. Now this was a package that I picked up on Black Friday 2018. I'm finally started getting through all of my little Black Friday purchases. This is a GoPro that they introduced in mid 2018. It is a restricted version of a Hero 5 that can only do 1080p 60 and it has a bunch of the other features turned off. And this was a bundle price where you got the Hero as well as an additional battery. I thought that's a heck of a good value because I'm getting the mounts, I'm getting a battery, I'm getting a frame. All of this stuff is compatible with my Hero 7. And since I'm tech savvy, I know that this unit, this Hero 2018, is actually a Hero 5. And with some firmware hacks, you can turn it into a Hero 5, which unlocks 4K30, 2.7K60 linear, GPS, all of the advanced functions of a Hero 5 uh, without paying the money for a Hero 5. So I bought this a few months ago and I've yet to use it, so let's get it out of the package. So it looks like the packaging is almost exactly the same as the Hero 7. So you lift that up, slide that forward. Okay, this feels kind of heavy. I wonder if you actually get more accessories. With the Hero 7, you got very little. You get some GoPro stickers, uh, you break it, we'll replace it, extra warranty thing, the book. And a USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C, the GoPro battery, uh, a flat mount, a curved mount, and that's it. So the same, that's the exact same accessories that came with the Hero 7 and likely the Hero 6 as well. Well, first glance, yes, this looks just like a Hero 5 or 6. Um, and we'll get it out of the packaging here. There's no indication, there's no numbering on it. So we'll slide it out. This one just says Hero. But absolutely everything that's built into this it is literally a Hero 5. They've just gimped it with firmware to turn everything off. So this has no ProTune, has no 4K, doesn't have linear, it doesn't have a bunch of stuff. But by hack upgrading it to a Hero 5, I will be able to get all of those functions. Let's try and get this screen sticker off. There we go. Let's pop the battery in and see if it has a charge. So now, since that was a bundle where I got a battery with it, that's now uh, three GoPro batteries that I own uh, and two GoPros. One GoPro Hero 7 and this GoPro Hero, which will eventually become a Hero 5. And my intentions for this one is since it does not have the fancy stabilization, I just want it for more static and tripod shots to be able to have the extra resolution that I do not have with my Sony. Wow. That, that battery is completely stone cold dead. So let's gonna have to throw some charge into it and I'll come back and show you some of the menus before I do any of my upgrade hacks. So I just went and grabbed another one of my batteries. So I do have a now a working battery in this. I've yet, I've, I have not powered it on yet, but I just want to do a comparison of the seven versus the five. I did notice some things like the panel gaps are significantly bigger on the five versus the seven. Um, the seven has a lot tighter tolerances for the seams, but the actual design and the size of it is all exactly the same. The only difference is the type of coating that they have and the color. All of the accessories that have ever come out for fives work with the Hero 2018, the Hero 5, the Hero 6, and the Hero 7 black. The reason why I bought this instead of something like the Hero 7 white or Hero 7 silver is that this is just a reduced down version of the 5. It still has a removable battery. If you if you firmware hack it, you still get ProTune um, and all the advanced features of the top line black series. If you buy a Hero 7 white or silver, you do not get lens replacement. You do not get removable battery. You do not get ProTune uh, and a bunch of other ridiculous things. The Hero 7 white and hero 7 silver are absolutely a do not buy in my opinion uh, avoid those if you want a low priced gopro this is your ticket if you can still find this guy the hero 2018 all right let's try and power this on for the first time
hero. So English, whoops, uh, agree. Oh yeah, this is, that, that was a noticeably laggy slower start. This has a lower end processor than this. It wasn't until the GoPro Hero 6 where they came out with their own custom uh, GoPro silicon. Uh, so that's in the 6 and the 7. This one is still like an Ambarella type uh, processor, which is okay, but um, it's certainly not as powerful as what's in the 6 and the 7. So we'll set the clock, set the time. I actually kind of like this interface more than the setup on the, on the GoPro Hero 7 so far. Modes and settings, tap below to change modes and settings. Wow, yeah, this, uh, this interface is, so it's defaulted. Out of the box, advanced settings, swipe left to access advanced settings. Video stabilization, preferences, it's teaching me how to use the interface, which is good, because this is all new to me. Uh, media is swiped to the right, left was other modes, whatever, we'll get in there later, and exit, swipe down from the top, and then set up quick stories, okay. All right, we've got you on the Hero screen right now. It looks like the default setup was, it, when it first booted up, it was on 1440, 60. Now it's on 1080, 60 wide. So I wanna see, yeah, you can have it 1440, 60 wide. Uh, field of view, you can only have wide. So let's go back. If I set it on 1080, uh, 1080, 60, can we have linear? No, you can have narrow, medium, or wide. So in order to get a linear mode, you have to hack it, which for me, yeah, I mean, narrow is okay, but you still get some fish distortion. I'll go to medium. You can see how much it adjusts it. I do not plan on actually doing much with this firmware stock uh, because you have very few settings. We can go into video stabilization, which is on or off. Uh, on, turn. oh, it was on by default, it seems. And that's it. That's You have auto low light and stabilization are your only options and both are on by default. And that's all you can do. Uh, in preferences there will be some additional settings but nothing much else that you can do. So I think the very first thing we want to do is uh, is not use this firmware anymore because it limits this hardware greatly. So I'm going to look up how you do the hack and once I do that, I will be able to get these supported modes. So as you saw, this is currently limited to 1080p60 or 1440p60 in 4x3. Once I do the upgrade uh, to install Hero 5 firmware, I'll be able to get 4K30, 2.7K60 in linear, uh, which is what I want the most, as well as all these additional functions, as well as getting Protune as well. All you have to do is Google Hero 2018 to Hero 5 Black, and you'll find a couple of websites that will try and walk you through the process. Now, I've never done it before, um, but all you have to do is Google it, and if you're anywhere familiar with how to move files onto an SD card and how to get firmware updates, um, you should be okay. You do need to locate a Hero 5 serial number uh, in order to download the Hero 5 firmware off of GoPro, so I am in the search for that. And then when I come back, I'll, uh, I'll just show you what's in the menus once I hack upgrade it to a Hero 5. I'm not going to get into the process of actually step-by-step -step how to do it because there are some legalities around that which I might get in trouble for. But all I have to do is Google it and you'll see a few websites and there's a whole walkthrough on Reddit about how you do it. So take a quick screenshot of that. That's some of the steps. All right, I now have the updated firmware files onto this GoPro. I'm going to turn it on now and it should start doing the should start doing the firmware upgrade from a Hero 2018 to a Hero 5. Let's see what happens. This might take a while. Nothing on the back, but you get an update status on the front, so it's on step two of two of updating the firmware. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Now it's a Hero 5. Awesome. Now, we can go into resolution. Hey, look at all the resolution options. I can now go 2.7K, 60 frames a second, linear. Amazing, love it. 
All right, so I'll play around with this a bit more, but that's as easy as it was. If you can figure out how to get the files that you need to do the firmware hack, which I cannot tell you exactly for legal reasons, that's where GoPro is a little bit shady in some of their business practices. I mean, actually, it's brilliant that they had old stock Hero 5s and they reduced the price and they limited the functionality of them and blew them out. Um, but, I mean, now we're in 2019 and they're trying to sell that silly Hero 7 white and silver. This is a much better option. So if you can get your hands on one of these and do the firmware hack, I would highly recommend that. So now I've got a fully fledged Hero 5 and a Hero 7, and I can do some comparison videos with them, uh, as well as multiple angles for my uh, RC shoots and other things that I'm doing. So very excited about that. Also check this out, now that I've got it on 2.7K60 linear, also one swipe to the side, and Protune is now an option, so I can turn on Protune. And now I've got GoPro Tether Color, and now I can control all of this stuff which is fantastic. So uh, yeah, that's the full Hero 5 interface uh, unlocked. Also now in the settings, I now have a GPS option. And that's the only major difference is that we have GPS in these settings as well as there was ProTune options as well. So you've got uh, all of your ProTune settings, video stabilization, low light and manual audio control are now options. In some ways, I think that I like this interface better than the new one because I've got my all my settings here in one spot. I can linear, I can see resolution, frames per second, and the field of view all in one spot, which I like. Also, when you start recording, you get more information on the back. I can see that I'm in ProTune. I can see that I've got uh, all my settings, how I like them, from the back. On the new 7, you can't see any of that stuff. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this or you learned something, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Right on. Very happy about this. Now I've got two GoPros and three batteries. I might pick up another battery.